from high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland. This is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Wired. Bon Secours Richmond is one of the most wired health systems in the U.S. According to Hospital and Health Networks magazine, Bon Secours Richmond Health System has made the grade as far as moving into the future with innovative ideas on what makes a hospital system run. But what does it mean to be one of the most wired health systems in the U.S.? Well, for the past 13 years, Hospitals and Health Networks magazine has named the most wired hospitals and health systems based on their most wired survey. And this year, many of the questions centered around meaningful use. According to H&HN, Hospitals and health systems are assessed based on progress in adoption, implementation, and use of information technology in four critical areas. Infrastructure, business and administrative management, clinical quality and safety, and care continuum. All requirements in all areas must be met to achieve most wired status and Bon Secours Richmond Health System met those high standards. The survey takes place annually from January 15th to March 15th and is based on technologies fully implemented as of March 2011. For Bon Secours, Connect Care and Clinical Transformation played a major role in achieving this distinction. Please join us in congratulating Bon Secours Richmond Health System as one of the most wired health systems in the U.S. In other news, as we continue our series on Bon Secours' eight values, today we feature innovation. Bon Secours feels that innovation is the process of creating or managing new ideas, methods, and technologies to vitalize existing services and to develop new ones. Innovation is stimulated by a strong awareness of the needs of those we serve and thrives in an organization that promotes new approaches to healthcare delivery. The innovative organization commits resources necessary for research and development and for change, while recognizing that not all new efforts will succeed. Behavioral norms include encourage and support new ideas, Support research and development of new services, processes, and delivery systems. Foster a willingness to manage and take risks and accommodate failure. Maintain an environment which ensures the ability of people to raise problems or issues without fear of reprisal. Develop a sound understanding of and creative response to the changing needs of the people we serve and the community at large. Evaluate and adapt, as necessary, the services we provide. Bon Secours Health System takes its lead on innovation from the Sisters of Bon Secours. From the very beginning, these women religious have challenged the norm with innovative thinking and actions. As Bon Secours moves into the future, innovation's role will be critical at maintaining our mission of being good help to those in need. Finally, June 5th through June 7th was the annual Catholic Health Assembly. This year's event was in Atlanta, Georgia. The Catholic Health Assembly is the premier annual gathering of Catholic health care decision makers that represent a group with a combined annual spending power of more than $1 billion. Some 800 plus attendees included executive leaders, trustees and board members, clinical leaders, mission leaders, pastoral care workers, and religious sponsors of Catholic healthcare organizations from across the country. This year's keynote speakers included Atul Gawanda, MD, Research Director for Brigham and Women's Hospital, Peter R. Orzag, PhD, Vice Chairman at the Institutional Clients Group, Citigroups, Inc., and Donald M. Berwick, MD, Administrator for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. This year's theme was Opportunity Now, How Reform Will Advance the Healing Mission. You may be interested in knowing that David McCombs and Karen Schwartz were presenters, and I seem to remember seeing Rosalind Brock there as well.
You can see all of the presentations and other exciting video on the Catholic Health Association's YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Catholic Health But don't wait too long. The videos will only be available through the end of August 2011. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secor Productions and is solely responsible for its content.